Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to quickly go over how to re-add OBS Studio sources. So what happens is I'm going to go ahead and open OBS Studio and you'll see that in the sources panel I have my IPvo document camera turned on and my IPvo document camera audio turned on but the screen is black up at the top. So you know I'm not going to be recording so I know I'm not going to be recording anything from the IPvo doc cam at the current time. Also, you'll notice that under the IPvo document camera audio, I don't have any bouncing green bar here. So in order to fix that, all we have to do is remove the document camera and the document camera's audio. And I'm going to do that together at the same time by clicking and then control clicking the second option for the IPvo document camera audio. So I've got my IPvo doc cam and my IPvo document camera audio selected. I'm going to click on the remove button in the lower left hand corner of the sources panel. That will remove both of those two sources at the same exact time. And then I'm going to simply click on the plus button in the lower left hand corner of the sources panel and select video capture device. I'm going to name this IPvo doc cam and click OK. Then in the sources panel, or sorry, in the properties panel that pops up, I'm going to make sure that in the device field, IPvo VZR is selected. If not, I'm going to click on the drop down over here on the right hand side and make sure to select it. Then I'm going to click OK. The document camera is now added and the source is alive. Then I'm going to add the audio for the IPvo document camera back in as well by clicking on the plus button in the lower left hand corner going up to audio input capture and selecting it and then typing the name for that new device. And remember I placed the word audio in all caps and in parentheses next to my audio capture devices usually so I can very quickly identify which ones are my audio devices. Then simply click OK and then in the device field I'm going to select the default where it says default there and I'm going to go down and find the microphone IPvo VZR. I click on OK and now I have both my doc cam and my doc cam audio and you can even note that down here your IPvo doc cam audio should be bouncing, have a bouncing green and yellow bar. The last thing that I'll show you how to do or remind you how to do is you can go ahead and organize these different input sources by clicking and holding on them and dragging them down or up in the list. And remember, I like to have my IPvo document camera sources um, at the bottom, my webcam at the top, and then my display capture in the middle. The reason, that, and the reason for that is because when I turn my webcam on, I like to have my webcam in the lower right hand corner of my window. Okay, that's all there is to it, and now I can go ahead and record again. I hope this video was helpful, and I hope you have a great day.